Welcome to another Food, Wine, Pets travel podcast, brought to you by the Truck Friendly Program, with your hosts, Kay Brown and Brian Pickering. Love wines? Who doesn't? Vino and all kinds of fun refreshments, actually. And we'll have lots of stories coming up on some of those other ones soon. But right now, we want you to hear from a good friend who has far more expertise in wine tasting than us. Jeanette, who, along with her hubby Max, discovered a very cool boutique winery in mudgy New South Wales, Walter Wines. Brian, a.k.a. BP, caught up with Jeanette to find out more. On the line, we've got Jeanette. Lions shouldn't boom, is that right? Yeah, it'll do. <laughs> How do you, no, I've asked you this you before. Have to be How do you to, it? And you need my husband to pronounce it properly. He, you've got to have that guttural sound happening, which yeah, doesn't sound very nice. Bomb. It sounds a bit rude, doesn't yeah, it? it? But anyway, like let's not worry about that. You it can does. just read, you can read it in the post. But look, what was really interesting was Walter's wines. Now, my dad's name was Walter, Wall for short, and oh. Mudgy, which were, we're very interested in seeing. But, you know, you've done a little bit of a caravan catch up with the New Age Tribe group of people. But uh, you've gone to yes. Mudgee. Tell me a little bit about the winery and, and what you're seeing there. Well, there are lots of wineries around here, lots of small wineries as well as some of the bigger ones. But we uh, today went to Walter Wineries and love it. We actually discovered it by accident last year when we were up for another tribe event last year. And we sort of tasted a wine when we were at the brewery place in town. We went to go for beer, but we had wine instead and thought, oh, what's this wine? And discovered <laughs> oh. a really nice little winery. And so we went out there. So we thought, we have to go back there again this year. And um, they're just so busy with all the tourists. They've actually sold out of a lot of their whites at the moment yeah. because they, they've had a double whammy with bushfires, which affects and all the smoke has affected all the grapes. So most of the wineries around here have lost all of this year's crops. That's the thing, which is isn't quite it? You know, devastating like, for them. Yeah, mm. they, they, they've had the, the, the fires mm. and they've had the, the dry season, the whole yeah, thing. It's just true. been very hard. And then COVID, yeah. with no, no they, one coming in. No, but now they've been so busy. But fortunately, the red wines, they still have plenty of stock of that. So Max and I were able to buy a case or so. <laughs> Won't tell you well, that much. Well, that's all right. <laughs> I was just going to say, because you mentioned white wines, and yeah, white wine's lovely, and Kay likes white wine. Yeah. Oh, I'm a bit of a red wine yeah. fanatic myself. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons is yeah. it's it's actually medically proven to be very good for you, including dark chocolate, because exactly. it's got resveratrol. I agree entirely. <laughs> <laughs> So if, if the doctors say it's okay, let's do it. <laughs> That's right. So no, it's a lovely little winery. And of course we walked in there and we sat down and they, it was lunchtime. So we decided they were doing pizzas as well. And so we thought, oh, we'll have a little pizza. And no sooner did we sit down and then this cute little dog, which is one of the staff members, little dash hound cross Maltese, jumped up and sat next to my husband and then oh, jumped little, over to little, me and I was in love. That's little Elmo, is it? That we yeah, see? called Elmo. Yeah. A little Elmo, yeah. He's just adorable. And he was actually born on the 6th of January, which is my daughter's birthday. So my daughter wow. now wants to adopt him. But I said, we can't. He's very much loved by its owner. Yeah. But yeah, he was just a beauty. So, yeah, really oh. nice. And the nice food, great wines, great service. And, yeah, just brilliant. Well, and they're you, a fair, I believe they're a fairly young winery. Yeah. you got to hand it to local produce people whether they are a winery mm. or they're, they, they're growing you know fruit and veg or whatever yeah. to actually sticking it out through these very very difficult times oh, and, uh, yeah and everything's limit. changed with wine tasting really you know it's um most of the yeah oh well yeah because you just can't rock up now and just stand at the bench and yell yeah, try this this and this they have to seat you most of the places are now charging either a five or ten dollar a head um tasting fee that's okay. um yeah that's okay and some of them are taking it off if you buy wine others are also including nibbles or a little bit of cheese or something with it because i think they're feeling like they don't like asking for that tasting fee because mudgy has never ever really ever done that before mm. the region but because they've got to actually, you know, sit people down with all the new rules and regulations and you've got, you know, the QR codes and to check in and all, you know, they've got lovely little paper um, spit buckets, spittoons or whatever you call them, you know, <laughs> because everything's got to be either, you know, washed properly or chucked out. So, you know, they've yep. had to really adapt to all these new things that are happening in the, in the world of COVID. So, well, it, well there's more know, work, isn't there? Yeah, when, when you think about it, you know, if someone's there is. trying some wine in a glass, 
Yes, they've got to yeah. clean the glasses yep. anyway, but particularly with yeah. COVID, they've got to be extra careful. So that's exactly. Fair um, and, and listen, I'm very impressed that you're up with all so, the latest technology, QR codes and stuff. That's terrific. Oh, yeah. I'm the QR queen now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Even without uh, my glasses, I know what I'm doing. I can type it in. Oh, well, good on you. We, I won't go into detail, but years ago when we were doing a pet-related <laughs> lost and found service, we used to use QR codes on the tags. And the idea was you scanned it and yep. people would then see the dog and see if it had any issues, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, QR codes are, are, are pretty good. Yep. So. We uh, yeah. reckon people should use those. Yeah, and I'm discovering as, you know, we go to a lot of the wineries are using the same one. Uh, not all of them are, but, you know, if it's using the same QR code, then my details yep. are already there. So I just have to, yeah, I'm checking in here now. And it's, Look, it's, it is a sensible, so easy. It's it is really a sensible cool. thing when you think about it because all you got to do is put your name and your phone number in. Yeah. And that's it. You don't have to know anything about yeah. the technology and yeah. it's writing it out yeah. and, and all the rest of it. So, yeah, that's good. Yep. Look, how long are you going to be in Mudgee? Uh, Max and I chuff off on Sunday. Unfortunately, some of us have to go back to work. Yeah, work. Um, What's that? What's work? The mothership. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, the mothership, they go on mon- They get leave on Monday. Another couple who couldn't make it to our Gold Gong event, which was the week before, they came yesterday and they've got meeting us some other friends uh, on Tuesday, I think. So it's sort of like it's dragging on this tribe event this time. So mm-hmm. it, it's been lovely. So we've had thurs- the Thursday of last week through to Sunday coming up so it's been a nice break 10 days or so fantastic and yeah yeah, yeah. oh that's good. good yeah look for those that Gotta don't go to the local that... pub for dinner tonight oh good gee do you ever cook at home or anything like uh, in the caravan well, no no not today <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to go for dinner because one of the couples that are here, her son is actually the chef at the local one of the local pubs. Well, so, yeah. The Irish pub, so that'll be, yeah. So we've got an in there to get good service. <laughs> Not well, Mind you, I've been there before and was always good service anyway. So, so, so clearly you, you and Max, uh, yeah. you and Max are, you know, real social kind of people, which is good. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and like our food and like our wine and uh, Mudgy just fits it to a T. And you like pets and you like travel. So there you go. You're, you're a perfect match for food, wine, yeah. pets and travel. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so, the dogs well, just are attracted to us. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> okay. Who won't go there? Uh, next have... wine, no, no, no. At the next, next winery we went to, there was another dog and that came up to us as well so oh well there <laughs> you go well, dog, guess, dogs dog, obviously so, like you yes. yeah dogs obviously like you and so yes. at some stage in the future maybe you you should consider getting yourself a dog which they, they are good fun Our we've got two at home oh okay yeah you don't go traveling with them at this stage no my daughter looks after no it's a dutch shepherd and a um kelpie cross no right. they wouldn't fit in the car we've got two okay. we've got to keep room for the wine yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> on on that note, we'll say go and enjoy, <laughs> Jeanette. Definitely, uh, should have boom, however you say it. Uh, <laughs> yep, should have boom. Sounds good. <laughs> should have boom. There we go. Should have should have could have would have boom. <laughs> it <laughs> means shake the tree. It means shake the tree. <laughs> well, okay. It does. I'm going to work it on does. that one. I'm going to work up a little d- a ditty on that one. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, oh, I can hardly wait. Yeah, thank you very much for taking time to talk to us on Food, Wine, Pets, Travel. A pleasure. You want more podcasts like this? Just go to www.foodwinepetstravel.com. <laughs>